How you doing? Mr. DJ's back counting down WJRD's top 11 plus 50 survey of October 31st, 1966. Boy, we got a whole set of lost 45s coming up on this. I th I'd say about 70-80% of this survey is lost 45s. These are just these are songs that you, the Odie stations will not touch, which is a, which is a shame. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt to play these songs every now and then, including this one coming in at number 39 by Barbara Lewis. Baby, what do you want me to do? Lost 45, indeed. Barbara Lewis from Michigan, her first record was in 1962. It was called My Heart Went Do That Do. It was an original hit in Michigan and Detroit, but was not a national hit. But that changed dramatically when she came out with Hello Stranger. That, that song made extensive use of the Hammond organ, featured prominently in that record. And uh, that went to number three on Billboard's Hot 100. A couple of years later, uh, made, uh, Baby I'm Yours, written by Fan McCoy, summer of 65, and then it was followed up late summer, fall of 65, by Make Me Your Baby. Make Me Your Baby is probably my favorite song by Barbara Lewis. Both of those songs went to number 11, both of them produced by Burt Burns, a legendary producer. Burt Burns, who recorded Fan I, who, who recorded Brown Eyed Girl by Fan Morrison. He recorded Under the Boardwalk by the Drifters. With Wes, Bor with Wes Farrell, he co-wrote the song Hang on Sloopy, or My Girl Sloopy, rather. It was called My Girl Sloopy, but uh, it evolved to Hang on Hang on Sloopy, and he co-wrote the song Twist and Shout, made famous by the Isley Brothers, and then made pro probably even bigger by the Beatles. Twist and Shout. Burt Burns, legendary R&B songwriter, producer, passed away in 1967, probably at the peak of his career. He was only about 38 years old. Maybe Belong to You was a minor hit in 1966 by Barbara Lewis. That song was written by Chip Taylor, the guy who wrote Wild Thing. And Bill Fair also co-wrote the record. Bill Fair, who later became Bill Fair and the Beaters, had that huge hit in 1968, well, 1986 called At This Moment. But uh, don't know anything really about this particular record who wrote it, Baby, What Do You Want Me To Do, except that it went to number 74 on Billboard's Hot 100 but doing a lot better on WJRD's survey of October 31st, 1966. It's coming in at number 39.